So no one really cares. I don't think so because uh, Blake's not here for his obscene limerick of the day. But you know what? Right. It's still Saturday and it's still Murder Hobo Inc., folks. Welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us on our show. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube crap. Or no, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you no, want to buy our crap, tinyurl.com slash RPG swag. Uh, pick yourself up about mm. that if you want. You know, uh, there's, there's another. We've got plethora of designs folks folks we've got a great show for you tonight uh we've got uh three quasi regulars mostly irregulars if uh, you don't mind me saying and one brand new person to the murder hobo family so we'll see how badly these three piss him off by the end of the night you know how this goes <laughs> uh we're gonna talk trash for the next two or so hours see how far these guys get and see how well they do i'll fill you in on that in just a moment but before that let's start with ashley ashley who are you and who are you playing hi um i'm ashley uh i am playing demaya the tiefling bard um i've been playing with murder hobo inc pretty irregularly because of life since you guys started um, and prior to this, I actually played with Frank as the normal player. Um, I DM at Gen Con every year, but other than that. Including this year. Including this year. This is what, year three or four now? For you, three or four at least. Yeah. Aquatania this year, folks. Thank Who you. wants to go a little four. underwater snorkeling? It's going to be fun. Uh, next up, David. <laughs> David, who are you? Who are you playing? Okay, I am David. I am an avid gamer and nerd culturalist. Uh, also, fledgling writer. Um, tonight, I will be playing Captain Ron, uh, or as we say, Captain Ron. Uh, he is a human warlock, so we'll see how that goes. Tiefling bard, human warlock. Scott, what are you bringing to the table? Hi, I'm Hack Jandy, and I'm <laughs> smart enough, I'm pretty enough, and people like me. I like you. I'm playing a Gitzerai monk. I'm so happy to be here right now. <laughs> uh, and finally, our newest player, Abel. Abel, tell us a little bit about yourself. Who are you? Who are you playing? And what else do you do? Hey, I'm Abel. I'm just a college student. I'm playing uh, Gubby, a Lockathat barbarian. Uh, I am. I've been playing D and D for I guess a couple of years now, uh, and most recently I've been DMing a podcast called Sales Off the Rails. You can listen to us on Spotify, iTunes, pretty much anywhere a podcast can be found. Um, and also, uh, don't listen to anything before our latest arc, The Lemon Pepper Lodge, because it's garbage. Don't listen to it. You'll hate us. <laughs> uh, that'll, be, uh, that'll be my bit. <laughs> so what, 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 uh, you're playing a barbarian of what kind? Lock at that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I should also mention my podcast is uh, Spelljammer 5e. So if you guys like space, uh, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah frank you're, you're muted. muted we can't hear you i can't He's hear you at all frozen ah, I'm, I'm muted i keep tapping yeah. this button when i'm coughing uh locant a <laughs> tiefling <laughs> uh what are you again hack you're a um, um i i guess a gif uh, and a, a gif. variant human uh, wander off. Their job is to go ahead and capture the Fleece of Benediction. Uh, they have made it all the way to the Tower of, let me see, Amara Dune. And uh, lo and behold, they have fought and killed the big bad guy. And they are in charge of the fabled fleece now Who is all the, in charge of anything yeah well you guys see this was off camera so i knew you guys could handle it and i <laughs> said that in, so uh so they have the fleece of benediction all they have to do is fire up the stone of recall and head back to the emperor's felicia who wants to fire up the stone of recall and end this mission hmm. let's do it hmm. 
to fire up this stone. Let's go. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the chest that the fleece was in begins to glow a strange black and blue light. Ooh, 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 and you're transported to Doctor Who world only as you land holding the fleece of benediction. You are not in Empress Felicia's domain. You are in a very cold, dark, rocky environment. Uh, the tiefling, the locanth, not real happy. The gith, no idea. The variant human, screwed. Everybody roll Arcana check for me, please. Okay. Ooh. Natural 20. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 12. 12? Uh, dirty 19. 19 and 21. And actually, I am, I'm, I'm playing a lurker in the deep uh, patron, so I'm actually resistant to cold. You're going to be the only one. <laughs> I don't think you're <laughs> resistant to this cold because as Captain Ron and Damia look around, it's... It starts to dawn on them where they're at. And then uh, you discover that you are on a plateau overlooking an ocean filled with icebergs. And then, <laughs> then uh, a large scraping can be heard underneath you as the ground begins to shake and rumble. Give me a perception check, everybody. Ooh. Something I'm somewhat decent at. That's an 18. <laughs> Critical perception. failure. Uh, 17. Nice, you know. Yeah, it was a nine. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, as Hack, Jandy, Gubby, and Damia. Uh, da blah, blah, blah. Damaya. Damaya. See, I even wrote it down so I wouldn't botch it. And I botch it. Uh, as you three look around, you hear Captain Ron go, uh, oh, wait, I got an 18. <laughs> Wasn't that the highest? To the ocean view, and you see a very large iceberg with what appears to be a city on it. And it is uh -huh. moving magically through this frozen water. But then it gets worse as an extremely large iceberg, probably the cause of the scraping, exits underneath this plateau you're on, and you can see magical fire is going from this enormous iceberg to this large iceberg, and you are mm. witnessing a battle. Several flags can be seen, and as Captain Ron has successfully guessed, he tells you all, oh shit, we're in Cana. Oh shit. Where also in Cana? Known as the eighth plane of hell. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> gonna be a little chilly for the low camp. <laughs> well, Gabby's not gonna have fun. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> you know, I belong in hell, guys. It's fine. I am demonic, so Yeah, uh, you belong in a hot hell, not a cold hell. Cameron, <laughs> you also spot two trails. One goes to the left around the ocean, one goes to the right around the ocean. But you also spot a very large blue column of light way off in the distance. Damaya will tell you, that looks like a portal. Hack Jandy will tell you, I'm pretty sure that's a portal. <laughs> Gubby and Captain Ron, sounds like there's a portal. <laughs> way over there <laughs> now the locant can most certainly dive into the frigid ocean waters go past the warring cities if you'd like or you four may take the trail on the left or the trail on the right it's up to you hmm. but welcome to hell ladies and gentlemen you're in cana yeah well this land is full, full of all that hoodoo voodoo lord knows what <laughs> hey, real quick before I've you say it. anything, don't forget if you got a bingo card, uh, the magnetic dice are up. So <laughs> if you got your bingo card, keep keep paying attention. Go ahead, Captain Ron. I say we take one of the trails. Well, uh, Gabby can actually ask 
uh, the nature of this area and see which path is better. Mm. Ask uh, away in the plane of hell. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Hold gonna, on a second. You know, try uh, it. You Gabby. aren't sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you know, I'm not really sure. You know, I've never tried it down here, but maybe it'll work. And I'm going to take. I will give you a chance. I'll take 10 minutes to cast commune with nature as a ritual, as I am a totem barbarian. Uh, so I'm going to briefly become one with nature and gain knowledge of the surrounding territory. Let me see. Fair so, <clears throat> sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, in caves and other, the radius is limited to 300 feet. Okay. I don't know if that counts for no, this. You're fine. Okay. Uh, I gain knowledge of up to three facts of my choice about any of the following subjects. So, let me see. Uh, I have terrain and bodies of water, prevalent plants, minerals, animals, or people, powerful celestials, fey, fiends, elementals, or undead. That one might be useful. Uh, influence from other planes of existence and buildings. Uh, okay. Which three would you like? Who? I'm going to get powerful celestials, fey, fiends, elementals, or undead. That'll be easy. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to do uh, buildings. And I'm going to do terrain and bodies of water. I just need to know about these things. <laughs> Agave's got to know. Yeah. Uh, Man. And give me three D20 rolls in order, please. All right. Uh, do I add anything or am I just nope. doing it? Just okay. doing it against me. All First right. One. First one is a three. Okay. Okay. Second one is a seven. Okay. Last one is a seven. (laughs) 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 Good uh, job, (laughs) Swab. Gabby, there seems to be some interference. Possibly the Wi-Fi is really hesitant. Uh, Oh, Gabby has bad reception down here. (laughs) Uh, but, But you do recognize two of the three factors. One is, that is the Bay of Death. Okay. The other factor is, I don't remember what the name is, but I'm pretty sure that's Mestistopheles' city, and he rules this plane, and we should avoid him. <laughs> okay, I'm going to express that to everyone. Oh, guys, Mephistopheles is up there. We should really <laughs> not go there. <laughs> Let's stay away. Also, that's called the Bay of Death. I don't know why, but that doesn't sound good. Should have made yeah, it man. Of daisies. It sounds like we should probably avoid that, too, you know? Yeah, I agree. Good job, Swap. Yeah, man. <laughs> Every time you guys lift your head up over the rocks, that breeze really bites. So you know there ain't going to be no rest in the night. <laughs> you got to get the hell out of here. The good news is Mestistopheles City is currently attacking the other one. So they're, we'll call it preoccupied, leaving these two trails unguarded. Right or left? Hmm. Well, I would say leave it to the winds, but that's all around us. So <laughs> correct. Uh, Hack, what do you say, man? I just think we need to just <clears throat> kind of. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> We're fucked. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. This is really kind of messed up right now, man. Let's this just is go to really, the right. really. Yeah, man, that sounds great, man. Hey, that's that's good. When in doubt, always go right. Wait, sure. but if it's a maze, we should go left. Or was that right? Let's just go right. Let's go. Uh, right. Yeah, man. The good news is it you appears the fish that the says, man. right path <laughs> might might actually be closer to that twirling portal of hell that you hope is uh kind of the way out maybe you hope uh, right. i'm not sure uh, but you know I, i'm sure it'll be fine i'm sure probably so as you go <laughs> down the right trail uh as you look around you notice that you were on a big tunnel so those two cities came under it and mestistopheles city was the one scraping and thundering it along uh so it's probably fortunate that you went ahead and left so as you go down, yeah, man. the biting winds really pick up as they swirl off the Bay of Death. Uh, but fortunately for you, uh, 
you aren't going to waste time, so you're kind of humping it along. Uh, unfortunately, the trail does take you along a precarious cliff uh, that will empty you into the Bay of Death, uh, so you're going to have to be careful. As you move along that way, I'll take dex checks from all four of you, please. Hmm. TPK, TPK, TPK. 21. <laughs> 11. 11. It goes to 11. 22. Can we get, do have any skills such as uh, <laughs> athletics or acrobatics, or is it just a straight dex? Uh, I'll give you acrobatics if you want. Okay. Oh, acrobatics. That's a 25, oh, Frank. Never mind. I'll do acrobatics. Huh? Oh, that's that's still a 22. Still a 22. That's a, that's a 19 for me. Oh, you guys are, you guys are have enough sense to kind of hunker down a little bit as you're walking around the precarious spots. And uh, the Bay of Death is certainly receiving its name as magical hellfire is just being launched from this big city onto this poor little bastard of a smaller city. Uh, you jaunt around. What? I said home sweet home. Home sweet home. After about an hour, <laughs> uh, you get out of the mountains and the hills, and you're on this flat surface. Everywhere you look are frozen bodies, frozen corpses, or frozen bones. This place is just a shithole of wasteland, uh, and there is just blinding snow coming at you from the north. And this is, to use uh, Armageddon's language, uh, just the worst place ever. This is what that's. This was what this is. It's the worst place ever. Uh, does anybody want to stop to look at the corpses, uh, take selfies, anything like that? Yeah, Gubby's going to go ahead and take out a hat. It's a little Fisher's hat, and he's going to put it over his little catfish head body. And he's just going to like tie it on real tight so it doesn't get flown away in the wind. Welcome to Boston, Gubby. <laughs> in January. Uh, your fins and gills ain't going to like any of this. Uh, but fortunately for you, it sounds like company is close. Uh, there is a nice howling in this swirling mass of snow. Sounds like. Is it a friendly howl? Yes, it's always a friendly howl. It's Balto. <laughs> Balto is delivering penicillin to Mestistopheles' army. Yes. <laughs> I, uh, that's what is going on. You should, you should lean down and... <laughs> 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 or, you know what? get pneumonia. How about we just roll initiative instead? <laughs> <laughs> okay. 11. 16. Good thing I have advantage. Uh, 18. Uh, let's see. That would be 10. Eh, not bad. Half and half. Uh, Gubby, uh, using your fisheye lens, uh, you spot <laughs> some shadows moving up on you rather rapidly. Okay. It looks like it's a pack of wolves. Probably friendly, right, Demaya? <laughs> Could be. Oh. Could be, might be, it's not. They smell fish, and they're coming for dinner. Gubby, uh, <laughs> it looks like you're going to have, uh, you know what? Everybody roll a d12 for me, please. Okay. I got a one. Woo! Uh, Eleven. Ten. Three. Gubby, you have a winter wolf on you. Hack, Captain Ron, Demaya, you get two. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, Gubby is great. first up with an 18. Gubby's gonna rage. <laughs> and uh, that fish. voice he's not. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. This is awesome. Gubby's gonna rage. <laughs> okay, Gubby, and go go ahead. Go, go, Gubby, go. W with a with a hardened battle cry, Gubby will say, It's Gubby time! And he's gonna hit uh, both of them with his or uh, sorry, the one. He's gonna hit it twice with his great sword. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Gubby so, time. Uh, Hashtag first Gubby time, time to hit if you're Gubby at home. <laughs> First one to hit is a 10. I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, uh, that is not going to hit. 13 no. is your magic number, folks. Okay, I'm going to hit one more time, and it's a 21. That that actually hits. Uh, that's 10 slashing damage. And as a... Do I do anything with my bonus action? No, I, or, I raged. Yeah, so I think um, if I can 
yeah, I'll just, I guess I'll stay there and chill for now. I think that'll be me. Chill indeed. Uh, next up is the 16, Hack Jandy. All right. So is this, are we on, on a block of ice, so to say? No, you were in wasteland. So you are on solid terrain. Solid terrain. Okay. Too bad. Oh, I'm sorry. That should have been 13 melee damage. For uh, I haven't played Barbarian in a long time. Gotcha. I forgot about the added no problem. bonus. Okay. So I have a, I have a speed of 50. So I'll, um, Fuck the Quickly. party, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm uh, I'm a not going to do that. Um, going We're to, losing you. I'm going to approach the uh, the uh, fastest the um, um, winter wolf that's closest to me and uh, attack it twice with okay. uh, with my. Uh, let's just do an unarmed strike. No, no, let's just do an unarmed. That's right. You're a monk. I'm a monk. Yeah, I, I, I Hong Kong fooey. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. Hong Kong fooey. I I do have a um a, a quarter staff, but it's on my back right now. Um, and I'm just gonna do my unarmed strikes to it. That'll be oh, that'll be a fourteen. No, that hits. No, that's no, it's not a fourteen. That's an eleven. That okay. does not hit. Okay. And the second one, that one's a fourteen. That hits. Okay. Man, that's those were weak rolls. Yeah, I know. <laughs> And that's only going to be eight points of bludgeoning damage. Got it. Good news. Time for the Winter Wolves to have a little snack. Uh, Hack, Captain, Demaya. Uh, obviously, you got three fast ones and three slow ones. So I'm only going to attack everybody once this round. Good news. Uh, but if it's an odd, you're going to get breath. If it's an even, you're just going to get bit. Uh, start with Captain Ron. Guardian of the Deep. Uh, a tentacle comes up and is gonna half whatever damage. Okay. He's going to try and bite you with plus six. Does a 10 hit? No. <laughs> uh, next up, Hack Jandy. Uh, that is an even, and that is a nine. Does a nine hit? No. It's like, I'm just a shitty roller. Dem- uh, yes. Yeah. Gubby, you're up. Okay. Are you fucking kidding me? That's a 10. <laughs> that does not hit. And Amaya. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Demaya. <laughs> uh, does a 24 hit? <laughs> yes, it does. Oh, oh good. And That's a one and a six. Tribute. One and a six is seven plus four is 11. Hellish rebuke me. All right, let me find. It's been a while since I've used Hellish Rebuke. All right, make a dex throw. Yeah. Yeah, Dex saving throw. Oh, good. There's my shitty roll. Six plus, who gives a shit? That's not going to be enough. Six plus one, seven. No. No. Stupid. So, (laughs) way to go. All right, let me find my D10s here. you burn it good enough we can eat it <laughs> all right so go ahead and take 15 uh and that was number five okay and you are up all right so i'm gonna do burning hands so can i get both of my wolves and a v you can try you okay. know you're on the eighth plane of hell right yeah but they're cold right so with the <laughs> Yeah, they're cold. <laughs> like <laughs> you might inspire them. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't prime material, but go ahead and see how much damage you do. All right. Well, they have to make a deck saving throw. Uh, nineteen and seven. Nineteen and seven. The nineteen will take half. <clears throat> Sixteen. Nice. Uh, that's half, or that's full. That's full. Okay. Uh, and FYI, I forgot uh, in pregame. Uh, everybody take uh, plus three to armor, plus two to your weapon of choice. 
Uh, forgot to cover that one. Uh, sorry, last but not least, I believe is David. Or I'm sorry, Captain Ron. Captain Ron. <laughs> Captain Ron, Cap- lead this boat askew. All right. Captain Ron says, Swabs, back up from your wolves about 10 feet. And I'm going to plop uh, <laughs> a spell right in the middle of it. I am going to summon from uh, from the Here. <laughs> yeah, from, from wherever. Uh, a large transparent gaping maw with tentacles coming out and so the sarlacc yeah pretty much (laughs) so uh basically the wolves will have to make uh a strength save dc 17 oh that's actually not bad one Uh, four survive. Four survive. Uh, four, four make the roll. Three do not. Okay. Uh, the three are going to take, um, let's see, three D six lightning damage. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, yeah, that see. shouldn't attract the attention of Mestistopheles. No, let's hope not. <laughs> uh, it's not that big, but nine points of damage. To everybody or just the three that failed? The three that failed. Or, yeah. Yeah. And they are restrained. Ah, okay. So at the top of their order, they'll have to make a, a strength save. Anybody within 10 feet. So all the wolves will have to have to roll again. Gotcha. Okay, fair enough. Top of the order. Uh, Gubby time. Let's do this. All okay. right, Gubby. Uh, I'm going to, how many wolves are near me? Uh, currently one. Okay, I'm gonna slash him with. The whoa, whoa, whoa! You're a wild or Tamlin. I'll just hit him with the blunt side of the sword then. <laughs> uh, that's a 17 to hit, uh-huh. and it's 15 damage. And then the second one. Oh wait, that's 18 damage because I'm in a rage. That's right. Gotta gotta remember that. Uh, and then. That's oh, that's a natural twenty. Oh, okay. On Murder Hobo Inc., right. when you do a natural twenty, you get to re-roll your damage dice. So roll your damage dice, re-roll your damage d- dice, add them together, then add any bonus modifiers. So I do have brutal critical. So how does that work? Do I just add that on at yeah. some point? Yes. Okay. Now remember, if you critically fail with a one, you get to hit one of your friends. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, so I roll once, re-roll it, and then I add what again? Sorry. All your modifiers. All my modifiers. Okay. So that's uh, 46 plus 6. Okay. Okay. And then I have to add in another. Do I add in 2d6 for Brutal Critical because it's a great sword, or do you just add 1d6? 1d6. 1d6. That's right. Cool. cool yeah, just cool. the damage die. Okay, not not that great, but it's twenty damage. That works. Not bad. Uh, okay. Next up, Hack Jandy. Yeah. So I I'm. It's one thing you may have noticed in adventuring with puppy. Be quiet. Sorry, I have a dog that's yelling. Um, you, you may have noticed in adventuring with with Hack Jandy, he. He's very indecisive and he's really keen to have everyone like him. So whoever is under attack is 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 Hack's going to try to help out. He just really really wants to please everyone else. So so who 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 is who is being attacked right now? All of you. <laughs> and doesn't know what to do. Um, that's what we appreciate about indecisive adventurers they should die <laughs> okay so one two three gubby whoever whoever uh the the thing that's attacking gubby i will um, losing uh, you yeah sorry i will use uh a, a kai um two kai points to cast um fist of unbroken it's not really cast it's a it's a feature Using an action for Fist of Unbroken Air, uh, it will have to make a DC 15 strength saving throw. That one! (laughs) So that's 3d10, so that'll be... 
Is this um, a fart joke? No, it's not. It's <laughs> okay. called the, um, the Fist of Unbroken Air. Uh-huh. So it's 11 it's a plus fart 6. Joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pro 17, show here. <laughs> 17 points of damage, um, bludgeoning damage, and it's pushed back 20 feet. Uh, it pushes it back more than enough to push it into the sarlacc's mouth and is the dead body oh, uh, from the, I'm going to say noxious gas from the monk, but he's going to deny it, uh, is <laughs> enough to go ahead and kill one winter wolf. Good job. Uh, next up, the winter wolves. Uh, two, two, and two, sadly enough. Uh if I roll a one on any of the attacks, they're going to breathe on your ass. So, Cat, we're on your first one. Uh, uh, the tentacle will try to block whatever it can. So. But now, do I need to make a save throw for this, for each one? Uh-huh, for each okay. one. So, and the other one, is it disadvantage? Uh, not yet. I was about to. <laughs> okay, it was, so I've got, I've got the three that failed. Okay. What is their restriction? Uh, their restriction is that they're still restrained. They've got to roll again to see if they break. They got to break out, break yeah. out to the other side. Okay. So, yep. what is the first roll they have to make for uh, a regular one? Uh, seventeen. They got to just got to beat seventeen. Uh, your first one is now restrained. Your second one has to do the same thing, right? To break mm-hmm. free. Yes. It breaks free, so it will attack. Uh, 17 plus 5 is 22. Yeah, that breaks. <laughs> uh, DC 14 versus strength, or be knocked prone, please. Okay. And you take 10 damage. Okay. Um, let's see. All right. Uh, 14 is what I rolled. Okay, I, I so you were... Say- you are not knocked prone. Okay. Uh, Heck Jandy. First off, uh, the first one, which is quasi-restrained, is still restrained. The second one is now restrained. So nobody attacks you. Damaya, first one has to break. It does not. Second one... Uh, does continue forward, so it will attack. Uh, that's a four and a 19, so 19, 25. Uh, uh, so it will, it will hit you with its fangs again. Ooh, seven plus uh, four. 11 damage, Demaya. And Demaya, you are up. All right. So I forgot I had two attacks, guys. Ah, uh, way to go. Uh, I know. Real quick, Captain Ron, if they're restrained, do you guys get advantage against them? Uh, let me check on that. Uh, let's see. Guardian? Nope. 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 Okay. So, Demaya, you have one cautiously trying to move around Sarlacc, and the other one is just charging at you. They look like the fire did anything to them. It appears as though there was some singeing. Not enough to feed poor Gubby. Oh, well, uh-huh. I'm going to pull the hack and slash. Um, so that first one was a nat one. Woo! D4, Woo! Captain Ron's one, hack Jandy two, Gubby three, Demaya, you will be four. Boom! Gubby takes the hit. Uh, poor Gub. <laughs> Gabby will remember this. <laughs> <laughs> remember. Well, it's half, right? Yeah, right. I'm raging. Well, then it's quarter. Yeah, oh. so well, friendly quarter. fire is halved. Oh. It's intentional. Yeah. So More area of effect. Then you take one because I only rolled four. So. You suck. You suck. You <laughs> suck. Well, it's, it's like I, you know, pulled away like, oh, shit. Oh, that was nothing. Ready. Yeah, see? Okay, and then a 19 for my second attack against one of the other wolves. That hits. All right. You going after super injured or other injured? I'm going to go after super injured. Okay. Just so I can take it out and be done with it. I understand it is the super Nazi. 
Yeah. And that's <laughs> going to be 16. That hurts it. Next up, Cameron. Cam- All right. <laughs> got two curious wolves. Okay. Uh, at the at this turn, I I roll to see the if the restrained wolves are taking lightning damage from the the moth. So both of them, and okay. then both on Hack Jandy and one of Demaya's. Okay. Uh, let's see. Six plus five for lightning. Uh, 16 points of lightning damage. To everybody restrained? Mm-hmm. Everybody restrained. Demaya, one of yours is dead. Damn. <laughs> oh, shit, that's a lot of bookkeeping here, folks. <laughs> okay. Uh, was that your attack? Or... I need a freaking accountant here. Uh, uh, that, uh, that was just a devouring mod. Then I got my attack. So, okay, go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna call I, your devouring mom Meg. Meg, all right. Meg. <laughs> uh, I am gonna eldritch blast the the one closest to me. You're just a one trick pony. I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first round. Uh, Ooh, let's warlock see. eldritch blast. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, Twenty, not natural for the first blast. Uh, which one are you aiming at? Uh, the one that's closest to me. Okay. Got it. Mm-hmm. Aiming at the same one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, the second blast uh, does um, uh, twenty-two hit. Oh yeah. Okay. No, and... this is a magical fucking winter wolf. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. This is hell. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Uh, first blast is ten damage, and the second one is six. Damage, and that's it. Cool beans. Top of the order, uh, Gubby. Gubby time. Don't forget, Demaya just hit you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can kill her later. It's okay. Uh, wh- how many wolves are near uh, Gubby right now? Uh, the two on Hack Jandy are the closest. Okay, I'll run over there and help him out. Uh, and Gubby will swing his sword, and he likes me. And try to kill one of them. Uh, first, everybody hit. likes you, Hack Jandy. <laughs> Everyone does special. like me. Every, first special. hit is a thirteen. Uh, uh, that is a miss. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. That is a hit. Yeah, and that's uh, twelve slashing damage. And the second hit is a fifteen. That or, hits. Uh, fifteen slashing damage. That's fantastic. Very nice. Hack mm-hmm. Jandy. You're uh, so strong. Your new friend you. Gubby is helping you out, and your uh, wolf is pretty beat up. Okay, I'll um, do two. Kung Fu fighting? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yes. It's fast as lightning. <laughs> it's a little bit That's frightening. A, yeah. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> it, you know what? It's sad that uh, we know what you're talking about. Really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Gummy's over mean. there like, what the fuck is he talking about? Is that a poem? <laughs> yes, it's a poem. <laughs> it is a poem. Is All a right, poem. That, those, those were two hits. Um, I'm dropping my... Grab two other ones out there. Okay, two hits. Um, that's going to be a total of nine points of bludgeoning damage. For both hits? Yes, for both hits, total. That is enough to knock out another Winter Wolf. Congratulations, Jack Handy. Uh, still two on Captain Ron. They will make their rolls. Pass, fail. Um, oh, uh, a tentacle's going to flail, so it'll half. Okay. Uh, it is going to breathe on you. Oh, so, shit. Give me DC 12 Dex. Uh, let's see. That will be 17. So you'll take half or will you take quarter? Uh, half. Can I kill your tentacle? Uh, I'm just going to summon it again. <laughs> Eight. Eight damage. Okay. That is halved. Uh, Hack Jandy, you're down to one, and it still has to make a save. Whew. You will have advantage on that bitch, because <laughs> that's a one. 
again. Uh, Demaya, you've got one. And it ain't going to be able to break free to the other side. Uh, Demaya, you're up. You got one on you. Jack has, or Hack has one on him. And poor Captain Ron has no friends and he's got two. Well, I just nat 20. I hate you. Go ahead. <laughs> so, and then I rolled a five. So just max damage, which is. Oh, no, 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 no. New rules on Murder Hobo. Uh, you oh. roll your, your uh, damage dice. Wait, so, so I. Whatever your damage is, you roll it and then you re roll it and add it. And then you add your bonuses. Oh. Ashley remembers okay. the old way. The old ways. The old school. It's because I'm old. You are now. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? You ain't as old as us. Yeah. Well, That's you're true. older than Gubby, but <laughs> <laughs> congratulations to my you've made it to middle age. Oh, <laughs> oh my knees. Oh, I forgot my car keys. So I am doing oh, yeah, 24 damage with that. Thanks. That's nice. I, I, you know, I always forget my keys places. It's why I have to have a special hook or I lose them. It's, it's been Arr, a like Captain Ron. <laughs> 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 Captain Ron, do some work here. Okay. You're the only one with two left. Oh, man. All right. So with that in mind, I am, as bonus action, going to summon a large tentacle. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, let's see. It's not about size. It's, it's about motion of the ocean. Yeah. It's going to have to make a DC. <laughs> yeah. It's going to have to beat a DC 17. Just the Actually, one. It is all about size. <laughs> it is. That's what it's it comes down size. to. It is. Uh, it really all just comes down I feel like I shouldn't provide input. <laughs> <laughs> uh, coward. Uh, Liar! Liar! <laughs> uh, one or both of them, Captain Ron? Uh, one. One at the moment. Well, that's a five. Do okay. I have any plus 11 modifiers? I do not. Oh. <laughs> okay, it is going to take uh, 2d8 lightning damage from the tentacle. Okay, and that is eight points of damage. And as my action, I'm going to fire off Eldritch Blast. One trick, Pony. That's it. Hey, it's a warlock. Hey, what do you expect? Are, are you going after the heavily wounded one or the lightly wounded one? Or uh, the like... heavily wounded one first. Gotcha. So, okay. Uh, two blasts. Uh, the first one is uh, 14. Dead. <laughs> okay. It was really banged up. All right, and then my second blast is going to go to the other one. Uh, let's see. Uh, 16. Does that hit? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, with that, that is force damage. Okay, that's only three force damage. Whew, candy ass. Top of the order, Gubby time. How many are left? Gubby. Uh, you have one on Hack go, Candy, Gubby. one on Demaya, go, go, and go, uh, go, one on go, Cap Ron. Oh, geez, there's so many. Okay, well, Gabby's just going to kill the one on Hack Candy then. He's going Got to go... Yay. <laughs> he's going to go, um, what's it called? Reckless. Oh. And... <laughs> wow. I believe I get advantage if I go after you doing reckless shit. Uh-oh. Reckless and raging, huh? Go ahead, Gubby. Go okay, yeah. first hit is, well, with Reckless, let me see. It's um a same. Okay, so it's 19, uh, sorry, 18 to hit. <laughs> 18 to hit, 19 slashing damage. I can't do the voice for everything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> neither can I. Oh, it's a professional show. You either go the whole way or you don't do it at all. Somebody cut uh, him off. Cut him off. He's done. Suck him. Okay, fine. Uh, Second one is an 18. <laughs> and uh, the damage is uh, 15. And yeah, uh, I think that'll be it for me. Ja or Hack Jandy, your friend, is helping you out and helping you out in a big way. What do you want to do? Whatever Gubby wants me to do. What a <laughs> Gubby says cut him up so we can make them into gumbo. <laughs> Perfect. I'll do that. So I will. I will. Uh, Get a whole I'm, galaxy quest vibe again. Is <laughs> good. 
<laughs> yeah, let's yeah. do that. We'll do that. <laughs> we'll do that. We'll do that. So that's uh, a 16 and a four. So no, um, 16 and a 10. So I think only one of those is our, our going to hit. Yeah. And that'll only be five points of bludgeoning damage. Not good enough. No. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, Gubby. I'm really, really sorry. So I good. promise. I promise I'll try better next time. I okay. promise. Count Ron. Uh, broke on through to the other side. Okay. Uh, 14 get you? Uh, 14 does. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. My AC is 18 because I'm moderately armored. So gotcha. 18. Sorry. Uh, Char- character confusion. No problem. Hack Jandy. 18. That breaks free. Odd you, even your friend Gubby. One. Still sticks on you, Hack. I'll gladly take it for him. <laughs> Now we know what the tattoo is. Uh, yeah. 14. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go, folks. Mystery solved on your little boat. <laughs> I'll gladly take it. Okay. That's a lot of lettering, man. <laughs> that must look like a rainbow. <laughs> I'll gladly Each take in a different it color. For... Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, does a 14 get you, Hack? Uh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. It takes Damn a 15 it. to get me. Sorry. Damaya. Yeah, it's stuck. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Damaya, you're up. Does an 18 hit? Mm-hmm. It does indeed. All right. <laughs> so, first attack hits for 11. Nice. Does a 14 hit it? It does. All right. For 10. Oh, so close. Captain Ron. Okay. Um, Captain Ron's going to cast Told the Dead. In on that. hell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Casting Told the Dead. Dead in, in hell. What, what could you know go what? wrong? Go on. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I said it. I so. think that's a great idea. Go ahead. It's a wisdom save. Kill. 17. On all of them or just one of them? Just one. Just one. The most wounded. Uh, 19. Yeah. Okay. Um, it saves. Yeah. Plus one even. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it's wise beyond its years. It's a, it, okay. And, yeah. With that, the end of the round, uh, the wolves have decided they might be a little bit outmatched, so they start to flee. I will give everyone an attack of opportunity if you'd like, or you can let them scamper off into the swirling snowstorm in Cana. All right, um, I'm going to uh, opportunity attack. That's a 20. <laughs> uh, natural 20 my bad sorry that's what i meant <laughs> uh Cap- Catman's gonna take a let's shot let's see that is 21 damage okay De- uh, damage. how much 16 dead dead captain ron and hack okay uh first blast uh let's see uh 18 oh yeah Okay, and the second one. Oh, that's uh, right. You're Eldridge blasting, right? Yeah, so it's it's two it's two beams. So uh, the second one is twelve. Got it. Hack Jandy. The only one left is Captain Ron. You got any missile weapons? Uh, no, I don't. And I'll just turn to Gubby and say, "We make a great team, don't we?" <laughs> Indeed, we do. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> does your uh, Sarlacc pit disappear? Uh, yeah, well, if they run out of range. So. Uh, only one winter wolf survived, and it runs north. Oh! Survived. <laughs> uh, I'm going to need constitution checks from everybody. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to say Constantine, because you were thinking about hell and Constantine. Is it a saving throw or a check? It is a uh, check. Check, check. Synchronicity. Okay. Synchronicity. okay. I got it. I have a 14. Uh, Did you say 10? 16. 
15 for me there. Got it. Frank. 15. Uh, Demaya, take uh, <clears throat> three hit points of damage. It's yeah. getting a little bit nippy in here. Uh, as you guys as you guys watch the Winter Wolf take off, you notice something unusual <coughs> about the landscape. Uh, there seems to be a path with bones and bones. So it's almost like there's a marker trail. Uh, mm. One might call it the Trail of Bones. Uh, if you'd like to take it, it certainly leads somewhere. And at this point, it leads north. Okay. Is that towards the um, thing? Pillar the, of Light? The, mm, yeah. It is. Although the more you move, the Pillar of Light is here. So because you're circling around the Bay of Death, you're going this way. Okay. I see. So do we want to take the trail or forge on our own? Hmm. Right. Let me think. Oh, so if there... Hmm. Say it, Scott. I know you want to. <laughs> Come on, Scott. What's Gubby want to do? I think we should ask Gubby what he wants to do. Are there any animals nearby? Aside from the wolf that just ran away? No, not yet. <laughs> okay. That's not ominous at all. Yeah. Well, okay. Uh the bone trail. I mean, Gabby likes bones. They make good broth. Uh but I don't know in this Perfect situation. logic. Perfect logic. Mm. Always. Yes, good broth, but <laughs> if we go on this path, then we might be safer. I don't know. I'm going to Let's go uh, the safer path. Yeah. I don't know. I guess that's fine. Let's just like try to get to where we're going as quickly as we can. We're Says trying to the get the frigid hell tiefling. Out. <laughs> yeah, the cold is bullshit. Like it's bullshit. Hot blooded. Check it and see. <laughs> uh, the trail it is. Uh, you proceed along the trail and you notice that it takes you farther away from the coastline which does help for your wind breeze, chill, uh, snow effect. Uh, and as you trek along, you notice that the bones are in various forms of decay, indicating that not everyone died 100 years ago. Some might have only died five days ago. As you continue along the trail, you come to an ominous signpost. Two skulls without a lower jaw, have a piece of wood attached to their upper teeth. One says, go this way. The other says, go this way. Okay, I know this one. Ask one of the skulls what the other one would say. The other one is lying. Oh. Hakabi <laughs> <laughs> wasn't prepared for this one. <laughs> 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 That's because Gubby needs to learn to make shit up on the fly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't feel bad, Gub. I'm not good at that anyway. Which is the one that said that? Uh, he asked uh, the first one, did you not? So uh, he asked the one yeah. going to the right. Oh, they actually talked? Yeah. If oh, you, never mind. My reaction would be like, oh, God, they talk. <laughs> oh, no, they're, they're magical. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so the skull in hell. Told you the other one's lying. Mm. <laughs> we believe it. Okay. I believe it. Wait. Okay. What would the other... Do I which think path? the skull likes me? D12 against me. <laughs> Neither skull likes you. Wah, wah. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'll only talk to know. Gubby. I'll only talk to Gubby. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, which path would the other skull tell me to take? The uh, skull that says go to the right says go to the right. The skull to the left says go back where you came. Okay. Well... That's fucked. I wasn't expecting this one. Um, Gabby, you D12 against me. <laughs> uh, that's a five. That's a 12. Both skulls start to scream intruder in multiple languages, including infernal, Demaya. 
Uh, we so should it's, probably... Intruder! 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 Okay, Gabby says, let's head back. I think one said to go back. I think that's the right idea. Take the trail of Owens and I think Gabby's fucked! <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah, what? Go back to the start. Oh, no. <laughs> Is that what you'd like to do? You're so to. there was, uh, well, I guess we can go back to the part where there were like two paths, right? Two That's guys. where you're at right now. Oh, oh, we're, oh we're at the crossroads. Part. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Never mind. Um, hmm. Which one told me that Gubby's fucked? Both. <laughs> Both. Damn. Because that one's lying. Cause... That's huh. true. Probably. You're in hell. It's hard to say. Um... You know what? Let's just go to the left. I mean, they keep saying go to the right or go back. Left is the only one they haven't mentioned. And probably something's sure. coming to kill us. Why the fuck not? Let's just do it. Yeah, honestly. Okay. Let's not? do it. Yeah. Take, you take the left trail and you continue in a northeasterly fashion and you reach uh, what would be considered uh, very nice peaks uh, covered in sand. Uh, and give me a person. Perception check, please, everybody. Do it. Nine. Do it. Oof, Do that's it. a seven. <laughs> you guys keep your eyes open, or what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> 20 is not natural. 17 like and 20 are not natural. Uh, Jack, you notice that the combat has shifted out in the ocean, and the smaller iceberg seems to be headed to your shoreline, followed quickly by the Hellfire sputtering of the larger iceberg. Captain Ron, however, sees a bridge. I don't think it goes to Valhalla, but it's kind of a high-curved bridge. Does it it lead to where we're trying to go? Yeah. It kind of goes due north. Okay. It's crossing over a, a waterway of some kind. I think you might be in Pensacola. Uh, in the winter would be my guess. Yeah, that would suck. Mm. So yeah, that would suck. do we all see at this point that things coming towards us? Uh, Captain Ron and Hack, do you express interest? In we telling express them? interest in telling them. And I mentioned there's a bridge not too far that way. Nice. Is it Very in good. Addison County? <laughs> <laughs> okay. It could be. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so it's your choice. You can go battle the demons in hell or uh, run like hell and go over the bridge to probably not Valhalla. Gubby books it across the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> I follow. Yeah. Uh, just screaming with his arms over his head. <laughs> that, a, a fish with its fins over its head. Very nice. Yeah. As you reach the peak, a figure shudders, covered in a cloak. You can hear their teeth chattering oh they're just cold ignore them <laughs> <laughs> gummy the passionate i believe is his yes. <laughs> very cold. It, it is very cold here it is very cold and everybody can re-roll a constitution save please okay constitution save let's do this that's yeah, 17 that. that's a 20 <laughs> 17 uh, all right 20 frank good old gub eight <laughs> cameron Eight. Eight for me, too. Congratulations. Captain Ron and Hack, five damage, cold. Uh, Does that get halved for Ron? I'm sorry? Ron is resistant, so does it get halved for him? It gets halved for Ron, so down to two. Two. Mm -hmm. Uh, Demaya, uh, you've shuttered your inner heat, uh, and you have recovered from that last bout of coldness. Uh, From the top of this... uh, escarpment you notice one the figure with chattering teeth and two you get a great view of the fight i mean it it is beautiful that little iceberg is getting the shit kicked out of it there are demons falling out of the sky uh gubby you have chosen to ignore the frigid individual because you are gubby the passionate right of course uh who's (laughs) next following gubby i'm gonna guess hack jandy yes right behind are you going to stop and uh, see if this guy likes you or not? Who? The figure with the chattering teeth? Yes. 
Do you want to reach over and touch them on the shoulder? Now I'll just try to gaze deeply into his eye and say, hi. There, there is a robe. Their, their cowl is covering them. Oh. Oh. Well, that, that's very intimidating. I'll, I'll scurry away. Who's next? Good choice. I'll go. Mm-hmm. Do you want to uh, talk to the chattering individual or leave them for dead? I'll talk to the chattering individual. You're going to have to reach out and touch them. Okay, no, I'm not touching anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Captain Ron, last but not least, uh, <clears throat> what do you Cur- want to do? Curiosity is getting the best of me. <laughs> so <laughs> to talk to him, I am going to cast Mage Hand and touch him. Very nice. <laughs> uh, I assume you just give him a pat? Mm-hmm, just a pat. The robe falls away, and this gaunt, skeletal female figure reaches out for you and attempts to touch you. Uh, Guardian of the Deep. Wow, really? Yeah. (laughs) Right out of the river. Uh, Yeah, no shit. The tentacles come up out of the frozen river. They're actually blanched. Uh, (laughs) Go ahead and do damage to this individual, I guess. Does she Uh, save? Well, uh, actually, that just blocks. Uh, if she's coming to to touch me, I'll just block it. If it's an attack, that, it is that, an attack. Okay, yeah. uh, that enrages her further, and she begins to scream, "Intruders! Intruders!" But she natural ones it slips and falls over the side of the bridge <laughs> uh, reaching out like alan ruckman in die hard just can't pull the trigger just went off the nakatomi bridge <laughs> <laughs> exactly the knock i like that nakatomi bridge uh and she's dead she could probably swim she'll be fine <laughs> i'm sure. Sure. Uh, sure as you reach the pinnacle you see the woman you see the war and then you see a fog cloud in head of you at the base of the bridge. Uh, I call out and I say, beware of a fo- fog cloud ahead of you guys. Good idea. Yell in hell. Uh, th- th- hey, she <laughs> already out! yelled. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming to a tower. <laughs> <laughs> well, the jig is up. She already yelled. So <laughs> that is true. Uh, Gubby, you're leading it, right? I guess so. Give me an audio perception check, please. Audio daily <laughs> double. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, okay, okay, perception. <laughs> uh, 19. Oh, you hear it. You hear this strange, articulable rolling. It's almost like if you were in a dwarven stronghold and they were rolling barrels down a cobblestone path. Oh, oh shit, something's coming. Then you see it. It's a boulder. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, I will try and hit you, and I will give you a dex check on the narrow bridge. <laughs> Is it a saving throw? or It will be a saving throw. Good, because I get half. advantage on those. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. Ooh, plus 11. That's nice. Uh, does a 16 hit you? A 16 hit me. Uh, that is, yeah, that's going to hit me. Yeah. Roll your deck save. All right. That's with advantage. It's safe. Ooh, that's 14. <laughs> uh, the good news is you've taken the hit for everybody. The bad news is you've been knocked prone. Ow. <laughs> wow. That's some heavy dice right there. Mm-hmm. 27 hit points of damage, Gubby. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, I don't think I could have raged, right? <laughs> no. Okay. Act Jandy, you're right behind him. D12 against me to see if Gubby rolls over you or not. Eight. This is seven. Gubby rolls over you. So how much damage did you get, Gubby? 27. Uh, take half of that. So 13, okay. Jack. Uh, Demaya, you are behind Hack. D12. Get everyone. Everyone onto the boulder. 12. 
Everyone onto the boulder. Come on. You also take 12 <laughs> or uh, 16. Uh, Captain Ron? How, see if it stops how, you. how heavy is the boulder? It's like a, I would say it's a giant boulder. <laughs> so maybe 300 pounds. Okay. Captain Ron casts Levitate on the boulder. With Demaya, Hack, and Gubby on it. Oh, they're on it. Oh. Yeah, throw stack. This is uh, uh, Bugs Bunny Land right here. <laughs> oh my God! Okay, instead of instead of the boulder, <laughs> instead of the boulder, Captain Ron rises up twenty feet. Well, first off, D twelve against me. Let's see okay, if let's uh, see if I can do it in time. <laughs> three. Twelve. <laughs> the boulder comes rolling to your feet as Demaya, Hack, and Gubby have somehow wedged it. Uh, they look a little bit worse for wear. Give me an audio perception check, Captain Ron. Okay. Uh, let's see. Demaya, hack, Gubby, you can climb out from underneath the boulder. Uh, uh, Twelve. I'm just feeling like a fillet. Twelve? Mm-hmm. You do not hear another boulder coming yet. Damn it. <laughs> so the boulder came out of the fog from somewhere. Okay. Hmm. What would you and four like to do now? So this my- is on the other side of the bridge, right? <laughs> it's coming from the base of the bridge. Mm. Do we have any healing potions on us or no? I'll give you each uh, two potions of extra healing. Uh, two D eight plus four, four. No okay. ones. Two D eight plus four. The DM did a shitty job in green room tonight. <laughs> okay. I'm going to... Yeah, potion healing. I'm okay. But I'll give one of my potions to Gubby. Oh, thank you very much. What'd you say, Demaya? (laughs) I just want to know if I use the spell slot. If you are or are not. I'm not going to because we have the potions. Uh, Let's see who's going to listen this time. Everybody, roll perception. 12. Oh my god. Uh, 14. That's, that's a 10. <laughs> 14. Hack? 14 as well. Nobody hears another boulder coming. Oh god damn it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we don't know if that's good or bad. We tried to, uh, are we still on the bridge? Oh yeah, okay. you rolled back. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, <laughs> okay. I, 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 I'm going to take a rare moment of, of leadership and inspiration and say, Gubby, what do you think we should do? <laughs> uh, G- Gubby says, we got to stop the boulder and push it back to them. Okay. Yes. Gubby, Gubby's oh, full okay. of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Gabby has a zero plus zero on intelligence. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> might be time to impeach Gubby. <laughs> um, it's better than me. I or or Gabby has another idea. Gabby can swim through the water to the other side and climb up, and then do something on that side. <laughs> sure, yes, Gubby. yes, Gubby can Try it out. the water. <laughs> Try it out. <laughs> <laughs> hold hold on, as Kyle likes second. to point out. Go ahead, Gubby. <laughs> <laughs> no one's going to stop Gubby from doing this? Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> Gubby, you might want to rethink that. <laughs> I'm a firm believer in everybody has the right to make their own choice. Nice. Go for okay. it, Gubby. You can do it. <laughs> yeah. I've, got, can. I've got the dice ready. Go ahead and roll. <laughs> Go ahead and jump right. into the water. Yeah, what am I, what am I rolling? <laughs> You can just jump into the water. There's nothing to roll there. Oh, okay. Hmm. All right. Uh, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to rage and I'm going to jump into the water. <laughs> Give me time! And uh, <laughs> we're going in. Okay. Uh, I'm in there. You're in the water? Yeah. Okay. I'm swimming. Uh, kind of. Here, listen to how many dice this is. <laughs> now, now tell me. Are any of those effects charmed, frightened, paralyzed, poisoned, stunned, or put to sleep? Freezing. <laughs> okay. 
Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Gummy jumped into the water in hell. Oh no. Uh, this is worse than uh the polar plunge, Gubby. Oh no. Uh there's 20, 32, uh 41 hit points, so half is 20. Okay. <laughs> Gubby is bobbing. <laughs> How far? How far? Down how far did is... I make it? <laughs> uh, you you've made it almost to the uh, uh, bo- the bridgehead. I, uh, he through. fell about twenty feet. Okay, can I you swim over through. there? Or you, you can swim, but you're starting to feel the effects. Well, it, I'm it's too late to do anything else. <laughs> Does anybody have a fishing pole? <laughs> <laughs> like I said, Somebody I can a... I can levitate him. I mean. If you want, uh, no. let Gabby do this, and he's gonna uh, keep swimming. Th- this Gubby. round, Gabby has taken twenty hit points. Oh, God. It's gonna take him another round to get there. Oh no, Gabby can make it. <laughs> keep going. <laughs> I'm gonna swim as fast as possible. Use all my athletic skill <laughs> to do it. All of my powers to make him look better. So I do have a swimming speed, I think, equal to mine. Uh, walking yeah, I speed. think it's like 35 for Locanth, isn't it? Yeah, I'm 40, actually. 40. Is it 40? Okay. Uh, go ahead and uh, make your constitution safe. All right. You are fully immersed, so this will be a save. 23. That's good. A uh, half, so down to a quarter. All right. Gubby, happy and frozen. Gubby, meet. Who's a uh, Gordon? Gordon Fishsticks guy. Oh shit, Gubby! <laughs> it's quartered. It's quartered. We can do this. <laughs> oh lord, math. Oh uh, no. Uh, Thirty-nine is nineteen, and then half is nineteen. Uh, Gubby takes ten more and flops onto the other side. Demai, oh. Captain Ron, Heck, Jandy. I'm just gonna chug a healing potion. (laughs) So, are there rails to this bridge? About three, about thirty-six inches high. It is in within code of hell. Uh, nineteen. Um. So, when the boulder came, like down the bridge, did it up the bridge? Oh, up the bridge. Yeah, we we were at the bridge is a hump. It's like the St. Louis Arch. So you guys were here at the peak, and the while E. Coyote Boulder comes this way. Okay. So if I were to run up the rail with the dex check or acrobatics check, would I not be hit by the boulder? No, you would not. <laughs> okay. If you fail your fine. dex check, bloop. <laughs> well, and since you do not have the swimming speed that Gubby has, I would suffer a lot more. Three rounds. Okay. Well,. That is a 19. You will be successful. All right. So I'm going to take the rail. As you, Captain Ron, and Hack Jandy have noticed, there's another boulder coming. Actually, is that an acrobatics or a dex check? It would be acrobatics, I suppose. You're on an icy bridge. So then that would be a 25. Yeah. You can uh, slide on down like Silver Surfer. All right. Let's do it. Captain Ron, Hack Jandy, what do you want to do? Poor Gubby's made it onto the shoreline. He's blue now. He's a blue trout. Oh, I'm a catfish. He's a catfish. <laughs> He's a so, blue catfish. <laughs> so, so Gubby jumped off the bridge, went into the water. Yes, mm-hmm. by his I own follow volition. Him. <laughs> you follow, follow him? him? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh what my god. Fuck? Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's all in on this. <laughs> See, H- Hack Jandy wasn't there for the damage rolls. <laughs> uh, go ahead and do your uh, constitution check for your first one, and then give me two constitution saves after that, please. How how okay. how deep is it is possible the for me there? to throw out my rope to like start dragging him in? Well, you you are chugging a potion, so not this round. Maybe next okay. round though. Okay, uh, so- Captain Ron, it's pretty deep. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, so I rolled a, a six, a thirteen, and a thirteen. Uh, Gubby, do you have a headstone you can just throw at him? 
Uh, a what now? Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, mm, I could make one, I guess. Here lies Hack Jandy. Oh, no. Here's your first round as you hit the frigid water. Oh, actually, you actually got lucky. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> I'm always lucky when I follow Gubby. 22 <laughs> hit points. <laughs> oh, Lord. <Oof. laughs> Round two. Uh, Gubby, see if you can hit Hack Jandy with your rope, and we'll see if he's focused enough to hang on to it. So uh, what should I roll? You uh, can roll a dex as your modifier. A dex check. Because okay. this will be a... Well, no, you're going to hit oh. him with your dex modifier because you're trying to lasso that filly of yours. Got you. Um, well, it, it's okay, because I got a nat one. Uh, so it's a four. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Gubby! Weesh, yeah. weesh, weesh, and then wraps it around himself and flops over <laughs> on the ground <laughs> as Demaya oh. Silver Surfers down. Uh, Captain Ron, give me a dex check for the boulder that is headed right for you. Okay. This is so much fun. Yeah. Uh, natural 20. Very nice. I, You know what? I'm going to say you leap over it. Okay. Uh, I'm not even going to give you any damage. <laughs> uh, Hack Jandy, round two, and your savior is wrapped himself up. <laughs> oh my gosh. God damn it. Three ones, a five, a two. Jesus Christ. And th this is another one that you failed. Uh, right. 11 hit points. And your, your strokes are really starting <sighs> to peter out. Gubby. Uh, I can make time. it, Gubby. I can make I it. I'm coming. Yourself, Gubby. I'm coming. And up Give the rope trail. Let's try it. Oh, no, 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 no. You huh? got to get out of the rope first. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Uh, what should I roll for that? Dex. Or do I... Dex. All right. Check how to save. One more try. All right, this time it's a 14. Yes, you start to unwind yourself. Uh, unfortunately for you, you hear something crunching through the snow at you. Uh, Captain Ron, you've managed to oh, jump it. over the boulder. Uh, Maya, you have actually slid down and reached the bottom. Uh, in the fog, you see this large stone outline. It looks like a tower. You hear some rotating gears inside, uh, and you hear a large thump, like stone on metal. So, Captain Ron, what is your movement speed? Uh, my movement speed is, uh, it's what would be for a human, 30. Mm -hmm. 25 yeah, 30. in armor, so. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Demaya, what do you want to do? Um, so where's you can the hear Captain Ron. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, that was Gubby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, ah! who, so who's struggling the most? Uh, probably the Take guy in the your river. Pick. <laughs> <laughs> Hack the bobber Jandy is probably the worst. Oh, Lord. Oh, don't worry about he's me. He's doing this don't now. Don't worry about me. <laughs> 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 I am he's going a to give Hack a, uh, a bardic inspiration die. So that way you can use it to get the fuck out of whatever you have yourself in. Uh, <laughs> Self-inflicted. Yeah. So go you and think you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Gabby has plus zero intelligence, but he's somehow smarter than you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a D10 that you have. So you have a D10 now to help yourself unfuck your situation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, this is You're up, everybody. Hack Jandy. <laughs> Hack. Hack, you're up. Oh, well, actually, Gubby, you unfucked yourself. Do you want to pay attention to the crunching snow, or do you want to pay attention to Hack Jandy? And can I look both, or do I have to choose one? You can do a quick 
uh, lefty Lucy, righty tidy. Uh, lefty Lucy is hack bobbing in the water, turning blue uh-huh. to the right. Remember that winter wolf? You found him. <laughs> oh no! Oh, it's you again. Well, and he you're smells weak. cold fish. Cold. Eh, cod, he's weak baby. as shit. It's fine. I'm gonna help. Uh, I'm gonna throw a rope out, and let's see what happens this time. See if you can hit him again this time. With my decks, right? Okay, we got a seventeen. Jack, uh, give me a dex for this, for catching it. And you can use your bardic inspiration on this or potentially your next roll. I I use my bardic inspiration now. Um, (laughs) That's an eight for my bardic inspiration. Eight plus seven is 15 plus dex two. Um, That's a 17 total. Uh, Gubby, your throw was right on target, and Hack is not cold enough to not miss it. Uh, he has it. Uh, if you give him a sharp tug, he'll uh, get advantage on his next. Roll. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Uh, give me a deck save, uh, save, not check, Hack, and you can use advantage as Gubby is going to try and flip you out of the water. Gabby's going fishing. And you caught you caught a gif. Hack, what's your roll? At advantage. Usually I'm on the other side, so this is new for me. <laughs> Hack, go ahead and roll at advantage. What do I roll? Dex, save. That'll be an 18. Very nice. Gubby's massive strength has yanked you up out of the water. Ooh, <sighs> I caught a gift. Oh, <laughs> Take four more hit points of damage, hack. Uh, Captain Ron, as you run down the icy bridge, you see the winter wolf. Fuck. Slide into the water with one. <laughs> See, I told you he was pathetic. But <clears throat> Poor guy. Pat Jandy is going to roll a D twelve against me because maybe the winter wolf hangs on to hack. <laughs> D twelve hack. No board. Seven. Tie re-roll. God damn it. Eight. Three, it goes to the other side, slides in, whimpers before sinking below the waves. It has a worse swimming speed than Hack Jandy. Uh, I knew you would save me, Gubby. I just knew it. Of course. (laughs) Gubby always saves his friends. Damaya, you Mm. notice that the double mint twins are probably okay. <laughs> Captain Ron is about three feet from meeting you. Uh, you still have the stone tower with these strange noises. Okay. Um, can I roll like some kind of arcana check or something on the stone tower with strange noises? Sure. The 15. Sounds mechanical in nature. Probably fucking gnomes. Mm, fuck those guys. Especially demonic gnomes. They're in hell. <laughs> That's yeah. what every gnome does. They gotta be. <laughs> fuck demonic gnomes. And I'm a demon. So. All right. Um, is there anything I can do to help the crew behind me? The morons on the coast or Captain Ron? Ron. <laughs> <laughs> It's an ambiguous term. Let's go. Let's go swimming. (laughs) I already helped the guys on the coast. Uh, uh, Captain Ron, you can hear the movement, and it sounds like a giant spring. Uh, You give me an intelligence check. Okay. Demaya. Um. Let's see. For yeah. Uh, Straight seventeen. And Demaya, seven. seven? Yeah. Demaya has no idea. Captain Ron, you were close enough to hear a springing noise. What would you like to do? Uh, alert everybody that this thing is probably getting ready to reload. 
Please tell me that you're screaming and yelling. I am screaming and yelling. There you go. That's how you uh, alert. Uh, uh, alert. Yeah. Hell. Yeah. Uh, uh, Demaya, he's screaming and yelling. So you step I aside. Mean, can, they, can they make out what I'm saying, though? Uh, Hack Jandy probably has frozen and burst eardrums. Gubby is still too busy. I don't know mansplaining why hack shouldn't have jumped into the water uh, <laughs> it was is, a little stupid Demaya <laughs> <laughs> uh, has moved out of the way and the spring releases sending yet another boulder up the ramp well we're off the ramp aren't we you are off the ramp oh okay. cool <laughs> hmm okay can we deactivate it somehow? I don't know. Gubby, Hack, Captain Ron, Demaya, Constitution saves. All right, let's do this. Uh, damn. Uh, nine. 21. We got an 11. Hack? Oh, uh, you muted. Sorry, um, uh, what am I rolling again? I was typing something. Constitution. Yeah, that's a uh, 14. Demaya takes seven cold damage. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, the, everybody now can see what Demaya saw. It is a fog and shrouded area. You can't even see the beam of light anymore, and there's a stone tower here. Okay. There's a curtain wall that extends everywhere. So if you're going to go through it, you got to go through the tower. Well, looks like we don't have a choice, fellas. Let's go up the tower. Over the archway at the entrance, it says Bally's. What does it say? Bally's. We're in a freaking pinball machine. There you go. <laughs> uh, beyond, you can hear a lot of gears and twisting and oh, man. going on. So the archway is where the boulder came from? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you were old, you'd understand exactly what you're in. Yeah. You're in a pinball machine. I, I think I understand what's happening. Yeah. Okay. So there's two entrances, though, right? There's one entrance to the tower, and then there's another entrance which is shooting out the boulder pinball. Mm -hmm. Same entrance. Mm -hmm. same oh, it's entrance. the same entrance. So oh. we got to time it to get through before yeah, yeah, that yeah. thing. Yeah. All right. Let's all um, okay. Let's all go stand by the archway, and then when we hear the thing coming out, once it comes out, we'll immediately run in and get past it. So you wait? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Out comes go, go, another go. boulder. Go, go, go. <laughs> Let's go in. Come on. And I'll All right. run in with my little fins flapping along. <laughs> Everybody roll spread. dex. All right. Dex check. Yep. Dex it, check. Dex or acrobatics? That's dex. a natural 20. Dex. 19. Uh, natural Wait, no, 20. Two. So that's 23. 21. Uh, God's still muted. One. No, 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 no. I was just saying that I was getting ready to say something. 14. Okay. 12. Okay. Uh, you all burst into this stone tower and you see a myriad of chutes and ladders and springs and gears. Clearly, this is gnome hell because nothing looks like it should be attached, but it is, and it's just weird. Up above, you see snow drop in from the roof. A thing comes this way, and a thing comes this way, and it forms a perfect ball. As it goes through this labyrinth of strange shoots, it's sprayed with water. <sighs> so it continues to freeze as it moves along. You've never seen anything like this. You aren't sure what to make out of it, but perception check. All of you. All right. 21. Ooh. 23. Uh, uh, nine for Ron. Uh, hack as you look in admiration at Gubby. Uh, Cap <laughs> Ron as you just watch this frozen snowball go down. Gubby and Demaya go, exits on the other side. 
I'm like, oh. <laughs> that way. So Let's go. You can duck under the chutes and move around the gears unless you get a natural one and get to the far side of the tower. Everybody roll straight up D20 because only a natural one's going to hurt. 11. <laughs> That's a four. 11. Ooh. Five. Everybody gets through with Hack Jandy looking at admiration at Gubby, nearly <laughs> severing his... Uh, face on a gear you get to the back end and sure Bad enough craftsmanship. there is no fog and the beam of light is not too far away hmm. okay by so. not too far i mean about two hours <laughs> <laughs> god damn but this area looks a lot like the previous area where the winter wolves were well we just killed one more or, well, he killed himself, I guess. It was suicide. Yeah, suicide. Suicide by adventure. He saw us and was like, fuck this. <laughs> now, here's the question. Are there more wolves? In which case, I'm down to tussle. Or is there something that scared the wolves away from here? There are no wolves, only heavy snow drifts, leaving only the tip tops of the bones, again, making a trail. Hmm. Hmm. I guess so, we should. <laughs> there is a signpost. Oh God! What does this one say? The hills of Dipmora. Oh, that seem familiar to anyone? Arcana check. Uh, yeah. Ten. Uh, it's a nat one. <laughs> <laughs> Thirteen. Twelve. Nope. Doesn't hmm. ring a bell with anybody. Nope. So I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> that hurts Gubby's head. Let's not think about it too much. Uh, hmm. So there, yeah. I mean, that's the only path, right? So pretty much. Yeah. Let's just go on it. <laughs> There's not. <laughs> what else can right. we do? <laughs> As you You're go right. on it, everybody starts to hear cracking from the snow. It's kind of a uh, an icy top, but as the as you hear the crunching, you see skeletal arms with old weapons cracking up through the ground. Uh, mm. So far, they are at your level and behind you. So currently, ahead of you is clear. You do not know for how long. Would you like to dawdle or proceed? We are going to charge, or charge I'm going to charge. Through. Yeah. Well, through. If, you know, I can cast invisibility. If you can guys you? Yes, I can, if you guys want me to. On the eighth oh, yeah, sure. health. Go ahead. I don't know. We can try. Let me see. And it lasts up to an hour. Mm -hmm. You can cast invisibility on all of us? That's what I'm checking. Ooh, should be greater useful. invisibility, right? That is useful. Yeah, because you can cast it at higher levels, too. Correct. See if it works, but let me look at what spell is it? Uh, there's invisibility and there's greater invisibility. Uh, which one do you want to cast? I'm going to well, cast normal invisibility so I don't have to use hmm. because the thing is, greater invisibility, I can. Well, invisibility is concentration, so you can only do it on. Unless I uh, cast it at a higher spell yeah, yeah. slot. When you hi yeah, so every <clears throat> spell slot of third level or higher, you can target one additional creature. One more person, right. Yeah. Okay. So then I could only do two of us, I think. Yeah. Hang on. I'm trying to find it again. I thought I had it marked, and I flipped the page, and I didn't. Sorry, guys. It's okay. Way to go, Wait. Ashley. Jesus. Go on. Okay. okay, so it's a second level illusion. I can cast up to fourth level spells, I believe. You can get three people. No, I can cast up to level. fifth level spells. Oh, that's four people. Yeah, so I can cast invisibility on all of us, but if I need to cast any other spell since it's concentration, I'll have to drop it. And so, you burn your highest shot. level slot as well. Yeah. Well, I have another slot in fifth. I have two slots. For fifth. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm, I was so, unaware of that. Is that yeah. what you do? 
Yeah. Cool beans. Uh, Demaya says, hang on, guys. I can make us all invisible. She casts the spell. And there you go. Oh. Ooh, I, will, I will take intelligence checks from everybody. Oh. That's not a good one. Oh, well, <laughs> I got eight. Um, let's see. Ron, intelligence. Oh. Um, uh, 14. Jack, Thir- Thir- 13. Demaya, you know that your spell has successfully been cast, but then you look down and you notice you're leaving footprints in the snow. Well, at least it makes us harder to hit. So if somebody else wants to work on covering footprints as we go, <laughs> they can take on that job because I have to concentrate. If we want to remain in the arms are popping out of the hills of Dipmora. Oh, no. Hmm. Can uh, Gunner use his survival skills to cover up the tracks? Uh, you make the roll? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'll do it. Um, so, survival check. I got a 12. You have yeah. perfect feet for this, Guppy. <laughs> That's actually true. I really, really do. I have my little flippers. <laughs> I can scoot them along as we go. <laughs> Running along, uh, as you guys uh, break <laughs> speed, you notice you're coming very close to the edge of the bay again, but over the mountains beyond is the blue pillar of light. Uh, the You hear skeletal clacking behind you as those dead are now in hot pursuit. <laughs> You're welcome, Scott. I knew you'd like that one. Oh, man. Straight up deep 20 to see if you fall. Okay. It's just a plain D20. Just a straight up D20. 16. Okay. Uh, 16. Hack. Hack straight up D20. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Three. <laughs> uh, Hack's admiration for Gubby seems to slow him, slow him down. And Gubby, while you are clearing off everybody else's tracks, Hack is just astonished at your amazing abilities at survival. So he is trailing along behind. So you are covering up yours. Captain Ron and Demaya, as the skeletal horde begins to pursue you, as the dead of hell are pissed off. But your speed is sufficient enough to allow you to round the mountains and the veritable horde of undead come to a screeching halt at the pass. Oh, like there's like an invisible wall. (laughs) There is a narrow gap between the mountains Mm. and just beyond it, is a blue column of light. Around it are statues of knightly men with broadswords holding it out. They encompass the circle completely, and the blue light is within. Okay, well, we're few, invisible. A, a few yards to go and steps up, and you guys are going somewhere. Wait, so since I grabbed the fleece from the box, I have it, right? You have the fleece. I dimension door into the portal. (laughs) You you could take one of us. (laughs) (laughs) Maya goes full on murder hobo Boom! Boom. Ron! (laughs) Cap Ron and Gubby! A figure rises in the pass and blocks you. It is a... Uh, it's the fucking devil is what it is. Oh, God. <laughs> you guys are now officially <laughs> fucked. Uh, it is an ice devil and it blocks your path as Demaya hoses you. <laughs> you three can go ahead and roll initiative or just throw your... Yeah, I'm going to kill her when we get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> 21. Wow. Uh, Hack and Kane. Natural 20. 
Uh, we'll go with Nat 20 first. Uh, it is an Ice Devil. Okay. I am going to attempt. I mean, does it does hold monster apply to fiends? On the or devils? plane of hell? Sure. Probably go not. ahead. Give it a shot. <laughs> Give it a shot. That's what I like about you. Yeah, anything's yeah, you possible. Can, anything's possible. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm going to hold uh, monster on the eighth plane of hell. <laughs> going to sure. try. I mean, do it. Yeah. Do it. All right. Going to try it. So uh, it needs to make a wisdom save, I think, of yeah. 17. Uh, wow. 15 on the roll plus two. For the bonus for wisdom. Yes. 17. Yikes. 17. Damn it. Yes. Uh, next up's the 21, Gubby. All right. Gubby's gonna say, Well, if I die, I die. And he's gonna uh he's gonna run up to the thing. He's gonna rage <laughs> because it it's Gubby time. And uh he's gonna hit it twice. Go ahead. Let's go. 18 First hit. hit. Captain Ron, the ice devil. First hit off is your spell. 20. <laughs> 20 hits. Uh and the damage is 20. And then the second hit is This thing has a shitload of hit points too. 24 <laughs> to hit and another 20 damage. Demaya, you better hope they fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. oh, Gabby's coming. <laughs> Gabby's coming. Oh, uh, I'm already on Jandy, the- you I also beat me on initiative. <laughs> Scott. Yeah, I. So, am I muted? Okay, no. Um, yeah, I will. I will inform the uh, the devil that uh, he just let a, um, a Tanari escape, and he is bound by the blood war to go chase her down and bring her back. Ooh. <laughs> and, and Gubby will help by saying, "Yeah." <laughs> Unfortunately for Hack, the Ice Devil is not permitted to go within the circle. It was worth it. It was worth the chance. It was worth the chance. You see yeah. an ice wall form up all the way behind the Ice Devil, and it's going to still get two attacks. One, two, three, four, five, six. First attack goes three. Hack. Second attack, Gubby. Uh... Yeah, they both do the same thing, so who cares? <laughs> uh, do I get to roll to like run away from the portal point? You dimension door into it, didn't you? Yeah, so then I should be wherever the hell. Oh, yeah, you're going to be a heroine. They're going to fucking kill you if they catch you. <laughs> <laughs> I should be, you know, getting away, right? Like You are in a very warm place now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Hack, this is you. Plus, plus 10. Uh, Hack, that's, uh, <laughs> that's a natural 20, my friend. <laughs> oh. So does a 30 hit? <laughs> yeah. Uh, on Gubby. Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> what? what yeah, natural <laughs> another, twenty. Another natural, natural twenty. Twenties, uh, guys. Uh, sorry, I really do detest TPKs. It's not going to be a TPK because uh, Demaya got away. Uh, you both. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to kill her. You, you bitch. <laughs> Uh, so you take uh, six <laughs> plus five, eleven, and then ouch. Who's taking what? Uh, you take twenty-three hit points of damage, both of you. Twenty-three. Uh, okay, but, good thing I'm rage. But hack uh, will only take uh, six additional there because his is halved. So the eleven cold is halved. Hack or Ron? Or who's, Gubby? Who's uh, immune to cold? Well, resistant. Yeah. I'm you resistant. Are? Oh, uh, then fuck Hack and Gubby. They're screwed. No, I'm <laughs> resistant to all damage except psychic. Well, I'm raging. Uh, okay, so you are <laughs> raging, so you take half of that total. Okay. I'm doing fine. <laughs> sure, top of the order, Gubby. Or, I'm sorry, nope, Captain Ron. Uh, Captain Ron is going to summon Conjure Elemental. Okay. I'm going to Conjure Earth Elemental. Oh, good one. 
I'm trying to get the stats up for it now. <laughs> Where are you summoning it to? Uh, to that devil. Okay. D12 against me, please. 12. 12. Reroll. <laughs> Damn. Six. Damn it. Three. <laughs> you have summoned the elemental on the other side of the wall. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake. Gubby, you're up. Oh, oh hang man. on, Gubby. Uh, good news, Because it went after her, right? Is no, it, it's, going, it's going after the ice devil, but the wall is right behind the ice devil. Oh. You summoned it from the other side. Uh, oh, it yeah. can probably come underneath. Uh, Demaya, yeah, they're, they're, they're going to hold a uh, parade for you. Congratulations. Oh, nice. Yeah, well, Gubby, I, you're up. <laughs> I'm going to okay. pass on the parade, and I'm going to get the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> That's going to take a day. Go ahead, it's Gubby. time to go reckless. Uh, <laughs> and we're going to see... All right, I got a 19 to hit. That hits. 18 uh, is your magic number for this thing. All right. Well, uh, and I have 12 slashing damage. And then on my second hit, we've got a... Well, let me... Well, I'm doing it reckless. Might as well see. Let me see. So that's 23 to hit and 16 slashing damage. Got it. Uh, hack, you better do something about this thing. Yeah, um, it's a couple of things. I'm going to do, um, I get two unarmed blows, um, and then as my bonus action, I'm going to do flurry of blows. I wondered when um, you were going to do that. And so that'll be two unarmed strikes, and um, I'll take use them my... Town town. No, stunning yeah, and I'm going to use stunning <laughs> strike, exactly. Yeah! Um, <laughs> uh, if I hit on any one of these, for each one I hit, I'm going to expend a point. Uh, until I stun him. Gotcha. Uh, We're still trying to convince the monk on our podcast to uh, use stunning strike like ever. Yeah. <laughs> it, well, I mean, it, it, these these can be the two the, the two normal strikes. That's uh, that's eighteen. That is that's it. Okay, he'll need to make a uh, con save at DC fifteen. Seventeen plus four is twenty one. Okay, that's fine. Uh, he makes that. This is the second one. That's going to be uh, a 17. 17 does not hit. Okay. Then these are the... That's a 19. That hits. Okay. So I'll send another key point. 17, 17 again, so 21. Okay, that's fine. He's going to start rolling low. Uh, last one is... A, that's a 22. 16 plus 22. That is a 19 plus four. All right. So no stunning strikes, but I did get three hits. So that's going to be nine plus three is 12, 12, 12 plus 12 is 24, 24 bludgeon damage. And that is not a spell saving throw, right? No, it's not a spell saving throw. It's a, uh, um, no, it's just a normal saving the throw. Ability. And, gotcha. Yeah. The, the ability stunning strike is ability. And I use a total of three. I'm going to try and hit each one of you. So first is Cat Moran. Okay. Uh, nine plus ten is nineteen. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, reaction, uh, Guardian. Uh, so I'll try to half it with the giant tentacle. So, okay. What do so, I need to roll for that? Uh, uh, it just halves the damage. Okay, the gotcha. Damage. Yeah. Hack, hack Jandy. Uh, nine plus ten is nineteen. And Gubby, sorry, Gubby. <laughs> Don't that tell me a, that is another nat twenty. Oh, <laughs> All right, is, let's get is, it over with. That is painful. Uh, okay, so on Catmaran, your damage is the only one that's different. Okay, so your your cold resistance is halved, right? Right. So three, four, one is eight. Take four cold damage. Okay. And the claw is 2d4. Demaya, they're, they're making headway here. You might want to run. I told you I was getting the hell out of dodge. Eight uh, on the claw damage uh, okay. for Hack and Gubby. Also, I cast Disguise Self as I leave town. <laughs> That's not going to work on Gabby. They're going <laughs> to kill you, Demaya. 
Oh, shit. Uh, 16, 19 damage uh, to Hack and Gubby. Top of the order, Captain Ron. Uh, okay. Okay. Does the yeah. elemental get its turn? Like It's on uh, the other side. So what would you like to do for the its turn? Uh, for its turn, it's going to earth glide to the, the devil. To this side. Yep. Uh, yeah. Use its movement. That's fair. Okay. So you attack and the elemental attacks this round. Okay. All right. So, um, yeah, I am. I'm going to go for broke. He's going to have to make a deck save. I'm going to lightning bolt him. Uh, he ain't making that one. That's a six. Okay. Woo, I can break out that. all the dice. <laughs> go pick it, go home. Exactly. Okay. Now I'm kind of curious to see if Demaya gets her ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's why I'm bringing out the big guns. <laughs> Gubby's coming. <laughs> you should disguise yourself as Gubby. <laughs> oh, but which one's the real one? <laughs> There's only one real way. But to what find is out. your intelligence again, Gubby? <laughs> now remember. Uh, if you disguise yourself as Gubby, the first thing you have to do is tell Hack Jandy how good looking he is. <laughs> 34 points of lightning damage. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. I mean, I'm just completing the objective, guys. <laughs> I was going to bring back help. Gubby, you're up. All right, time to go reckless and start whacking the sky. You're still um, reckless, aren't you? Oh yeah, I'm still reckless. Yeah. I I forgot I could roll dis advantage, but uh, <laughs> I, did, I didn't need uh, it. <laughs> sure. Uh, so first hit. Oh, good thing I did reckless. Um, that's twenty six, and that is nineteen slashing damage. And the second hit is going to be natural twenty. Damn it! Uh, <laughs> straight up. Uh, let's go. Five d six plus six, I think. Right? Yeah. So that is twenty two damage. Uh, and yeah. <laughs> oh, and wait, I can also add three more to it because of rage. So that's twenty five slash damage. Heck, Jandy, you're up. I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time. Um, you're just rolls. counting on me choking on my rolls, aren't you? Eventually, it'll be a, it'll be a total of four. So that's uh, 10 plus 6, that's a 16. It's a what? Uh, my, my first attack is a 16. Nope. 18 nope, no, is a yeah. magic number. Okay. Uh, no, that's a 2. That won't. That's an 8. So, that so close. So <laughs> close. <laughs> now that's a 21. You aren't going to like this at all. <laughs> ah, okay, you made this safe. Damn it. I love this guy. I love okay, this fucking that's a good guy. One. I'm using Last this one. guy against Kyle. Did, did Carrie make those? 18, that's that 24. 24. Did she beat him? That is a 19 on the die. No shit. <laughs> right. No shit. I am rolling hot. <laughs> six plus, six plus I think Carrie eight. baked your dice that's for you. 14. Uh, 14 bludgeoning damage. These are actually not carries. Uh, these Another are... Another two cod key points. Uh, the uh, I was using carries bronze ones against you, Demaya. Uh, my turn. <laughs> okay. I wonder if I should just encase you fuckers in ice. I try. <sighs> you know what? Odd, I'm encasing you. Even, I'm going to hit you. A six. I will hit you all instead. I should have encased you fuckers. Uh, Catmron. Uh, reaction, tentacle. Five plus ten is fifteen. I don't think that hits that you. That doesn't hit me anyway. No. Hack, hack Jandy. Uh, eight plus ten, eighteen. Yeah, that hits me. And Gubby. Eleven plus ten is twenty-one. Yeah, that hits. Uh, 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 I, you know, Demaya, you might want to start running. I think they're going to get me. I already told you I was running, Frank. Uh, six, you. six, three, two, one. So 12, 15, 17, 18 damage to Hack and Gubby. Is and he still raging? Rage. 
I'm Hack good. Jandy is down. Uh, uh, oh, no. So nine for Gubby. Yeah. Uh, does the elemental get its turn? Or Yes, the elemental now gets its turn. Okay. Uh, it is going to make two slam attacks uh, uh, against the devil. Uh, the first one is um, 19 plus 8, so 27 to hit. Yep. Okay. Nice. And Take it out. <laughs> the second one is uh, 12. Oh, that's not even close. That's not even close. Okay, uh, one is going to hit for 14 points of damage. Okay. Uh, top of the order, Captain Ron. Demaya, run. I told you I was running as soon as I got there. <laughs> there. There was no, there was none of that. There was no debate as to what I was doing. Captain Ron, you are up. Okay, Captain Ron is going to fire two Eldritch Blasts at the, the devil. Okay. Okay. So I do have a question about a spell, though. Sure, go ahead. While he's trying to hit. First one's 11, so that, that doesn't hit. 18 okay. is your magic number. Okay. Here, I'll uh, just... Type it. Yeah. Uh, the second one is an 8 plus 5, so that's not going to hit. <laughs> Gubby, you better deal with me or there's going to be serious repercussions. All right, we're going reckless. <laughs> <laughs> Go for uh, it, Gub. <laughs> uh, so first one to hit is, well, let's see, reckless, 25, and that's 20 slashing damage. Second Down one to hit. goes the ice devil. Nice. Just uh, Gubby will scream out. Barely. Uh, I don't know, actually. Uh, it, it's Gubby time. <laughs> 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 nice. Uh, yeah, we'll cut. I'll cut off his head. Uh, <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Uh, you have a wall of ice that shatters, okay. leaving an open access point to this weird circle of statues and this blue light going okay. up. Okay. If you still have a potion, chug it down his throat, and let's. Yeah, let's go. I was gonna grab. Uh, has he used his potions already? Because I was he, gonna search he him. He has and one. Grab- Okay, I'm going to grab his potion and pour it down his gullet. <laughs> God, you cheap bastard. You aren't gonna down the gullet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I would, but since he's got it there, I might as well use it. That's true. Hack, you still have one potion left, right? Yes, one potion. Okay, yeah. so Captain Ron does it. Captain Ron, give me a straight up D20. Let's make sure you don't chatter Chat. it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, straight up is 12. Yeah, you pour it down his throat. Uh, hack, Jandy, you go. <laughs> and oh, good, you're Captain back. Ron and has saved you. <laughs> he must Captain, really like you. <laughs> you both really like me. We like you. <laughs> Indeed. Now let's go kill her. And I'll uh, uh, grab uh, Hack, Jandy, and we'll just toss him into the portal and I'll jump in too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You guys all hold hands and... Uh, time yep. leap, you pass Scott Bakula on your way in. And <laughs> you also find yourself in the palace of Emperor, Empress Felicia uh, because that is where you wanted to go. But no sign of uh, Demaya at this Demaya. time because it's 10 o'clock, folks. And damn I, it, I, fuckers survived the eighth level. Hell, I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't know. It was rough, though, uh, man. I, you know, I just rough. a regular Monday for Gubby. That's <laughs> I, I did like the fact that they jumped into the water in hell and freezing. I, I, I really appreciated being able to do damage. Uh, and I like the fact that they were able to overcome Bally's L. Uh, let's go ahead and do final thoughts. Gubby, uh, a.k.a. Abel, you're brand new to this. What did you think? It's uh, you know, it was it was all good until uh, someone ran away. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> <We're gonna die. laughs> the picture here. 
She murder hobo. She's your just ass. like, Fuck I just you remember guys. the. I'm out of here. <laughs> I need that debit card fully charged. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I picked up those spells specifically that <sighs> transportation circle because I knew I would just want to leave. So. Oh yeah, you're gone. They'll you're have gone. to. I think that'll gonna... have to be an adventure for another day. <laughs> Maybe. <Right. laughs> So, Gubby, uh, you managed to survive the eighth plane of hell. Congratulations. You managed yeah. to survive Murder Hobo, Inc. What did you think? Uh, honestly, a lot of fun. I loved it. Um, it was great. Uh, I'm honestly surprised I survived half of the stuff I did. I mean, I honestly, too. when I jumped into the <laughs> river, I mean, that was just faith <laughs> at that point. <laughs> uh, Frank does uh, a good job of not killing us. So. The thing yeah. is, if we would have had 10 minutes, I could have cast water walking on you and you could have just walked right across. But you know, we didn't honestly, have 10 minutes to spare. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, Gubby's all about action. <laughs> Gotta go in. <laughs> Gotta go in. Gotta move. He is all about the action. <laughs> he's, he's action man. <laughs> Ashley, uh, what'd you think? Well, I mean, I got all the gold, so I thought it was a great time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Earn the enmity of your three colleagues who you didn't think would survive. They're going to fuck you up <laughs> if they I ever find catch you. Me. <laughs> oh, we will. They got to catch me first. <laughs> that, is, that is true. Scott, what do you think? Always a lot of fun. Always a lot of fun. Um, you know, uh, I, I like playing characters that are just slightly off. And I didn't know how to play Hack Jandy until. That was brilliant. Until, <laughs> I, 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 about, no. about five minutes in and said you know what he has really high wisdom but very low intelligence and very low charisma so this is someone who thinks he has a lot to offer and is looking for someone to lead him and and that's how i decided to play him. so that's i, uh, that's I thought you played it well yeah i thought yeah. it was a lot of fun but but you always play the Unusual character. <laughs> he does. I try. I try that is that, that was in your wheelhouse, it. man. Yeah. So that was that awesome. is in my wheelhouse. That is David, what'd you that think? Is. I loved it. Oh my god, I am so happy I became a member of this cast. So <laughs> so pissed I didn't kill any have you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. Abel, you were awesome. I mean, Gubby Thank time. You. It's Gubby time. Is <laughs> I'm never like going to forget that. I like that. Never going to forget. I think of more quotes for Gubby. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> hey, that worked. <laughs> Uh, folks, thank you for spending uh, Saturday night with us. We hope you enjoyed it as much as the cast and myself did. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our cool stuff, uh, it's down below. Tinyurl.com slash RPG swag. A lot of cool stuff there. Uh, look at it. Don't look at it. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Uh, if you'd like a seat with these guys or without these guys in the case of... Bitch Demaya. Uh, but so we'll, we'll try and get you on a show. Tomorrow we've got an impromptu show scheduled at eight o'clock. I, I think thought this was Murder Hobo Inc., not let's all hold hands and be friends. Inc. There is no kumbaya on there. There's no shows. kumbaya on We oh, murder yeah, together. <laughs> <laughs> we murder together to be stronger. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Until Con the end when the gold gets divvied. That's yeah. right. Then then we split. Uh, Kyle is going to have his hands full tomorrow night at 8 p.m. as we have uh, quite the cast for uh -oh. him. I don't think he's going to enjoy it at all, but I think the rest <laughs> of us will. So make sure you tune in there uh, with the bullshit isolation that we're having to go through. We're trying to get more shows out to you, so keep an eye on our Twitter account. We'll try and get you there. Uh, I, I don't know if anybody won the bingo yet, uh, but at uh, Pirate dog dice is the one who's going to be giving you the prize so take a look at that but seriously folks if you want to join us we'd love to have you uh we do the talk show on tuesday we do a game on saturday half of its campaign the other half is one shot uh but again with the impromptu games we'd love to have you on there want to alleviate your boredom let us know what we can do for you for all the cast here at murder hobo inc including the cast that didn't play tonight uh thanks for watching don't forget to follow us Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.